The surging currents of Admiralty Inlet, where Puget Sound meets the Strait of Juan de Fuca. It's actually moving at about three meters a second right now. That's very fast. Underwater currents fast enough to run a large-scale tidal power generator. Installation work set to begin in 2015. To gather needed data on flow and turbulence for the tidal power project, investigators from the University of Washington's Applied Physics Laboratory and the Department of Mechanical Engineering zeroed in on a river in Alaska. A river acts a little bit like uh, a micro version of everything we see in a tidal environment. We're here on the Quijack River and a company called the Ocean Renewable Power Company has installed a turbine right over there in the fast part of the river. And the turbine's making electricity for the local village here, the village of Igiagi. APL's role in this project was to measure the flow around this turbine. We were trying to understand the turbulence that occurs naturally in the river, how that comes into the turbine and affects the performance of the turbine, and then the turbulence that is generated by the turbine in the wake, and how that looks behind the turbine, downstream of the turbine. To gather acoustic data, Thompson deployed his familiar swift floats, retrofitted by the Marine Renewable Energy Lab to listen underwater. Typically we use SWIFTS to study the waves and the turbulence, but in, in this case we use the SWIFTS as a platform to mount hydrophones, and that allows measurements of the noise produced by the turbine uh, as they float past the turbine. We designed what we called a RIV raft. The RIV raft added to the SWIFT data. It was designed and built by APL UW engineer and UW professor of mechanical engineering Peter Dahl and graduate student Rip Paul Murphy. And this is a, uh, a platform for mounting four hydrophones in a uh, tetrahedral array. Uh, and these hydrophones are, uh, are synced so that the signals coming off of them are coherent. And the goal of this was to measure uh, acoustic particle velocity around the ORPC turbine. Acoustic particle velocity is uh, something that isn't necessarily detectable by uh, marine mammals, but fish have been shown to be particularly sensitive to it. It was really great to be able to get a feel for um, this sort of field work. Graduate student Emma Cotter. I think that tidal energy and um, other forms of marine energy definitely have a future. There needs to be a lot more research in how it can affect the environment around it. It was really exciting to see this turbine deployed in this rural village, uh, generating about 13 kW continuously, which is a pretty substantial fraction of the village load, uh, and the sort of thing that could produce continuous power year-round. From river energy to tidal energy is the next step. The Admiralty Inlet Tidal Generator will produce power for customers of the Snohomish County Public Utility District. What we plan to do is to actually install two turbines that will look a lot like this. Um, they'll be installed about a kilometer off of Admiralty Head. Each of the turbines will have a rotor, which is this portion that rotates here, with a diameter of about 20 feet. They'll each produce at maximum output about 300 kilowatts, so roughly enough for a couple hundred uh, homes. So the Departments of Mechanical Engineering and the Applied Physics Lab in, in particular at the University of Washington have just been instrumental in the progress that we've made in the project so far. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.